simple act of turning on a light bulb. We do it every day. But have you ever stopped to think about where all that electricity and where all that light comes from? Well, in the United States, over half of our electricity is generated by coal at coal-fired power plants. How do we get from coal to the light coming out of a light bulb? Well, this has to do with the first and second laws of thermodynamics. The first law says that energy can be transformed from one form into another. And that's great because that's what we harness to power our societies. The second law says that when there's transformations of energy from one form into another, here the electrical energy into light energy, some is given off as heat. So I have a thermometer here. The temperature of the room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature of this light bulb is close to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's over 100 degrees warmer than the room temperature. That's because of the second law of thermodynamics. When electrical energy is transformed into light energy, heat must be given off. This is a compact fluorescent bulb. And in my handy dandy two-headed light of science, we can compare the efficiency of this old style incandescent light bulb with the heat that is given off by the compact fluorescent light bulb. The compact fluorescent light bulb works under the same principles. It's converting the electrical energy into heat and light. The compact fluorescent light bulb's temperature is around 112 degrees Fahrenheit. In terms of sustainability and working towards an energy efficient society, a key strategy would be to replace all of our incandescent light bulbs with a much more efficient, cooler, compact fluorescent light bulbs. We save electricity and we save money. We want to conserve energy because all we've got on the planet is all we'll ever have. And that's by turning lights out when we don't need them.